Hello viewers, welcome. Still continuing the tutorial on integration that is uh, finding the area enclosed or bounded by uh, a curve and the x-axis with each coordinate. So we are finding the area bounded between a curve y equals to x cube and the x-axis and that of the line x equals 0 and x equals 2. So x equals 0 and 2 become the limit of integration. We need to integrate with this being the limit of integration. Now, if we want to do this by first sketching, let's see if we sketch. This is our x axis. We are having y equals to x to the power uh, 3. So in finding the intercept on the y axis, we put x equals to 0. So if x is 0, y will also be 0. It means, first of all, our first point is going to pass through the origin. Then, if 1 is given to x, that means we have y will be 1, x will be 1. So 1 will be here, 1 will be here. You know, the point will go in this direction. If I have 2 for x, as in this place, we are going to have uh, 2 to the power 3. That will be 8 somewhere here. You see, as the values of x are increasing, that of the y will also be increasing. So see, it's a curve. We are going to have something through this place. Then this curve and the x, as I said, area bounded by the curve, which is this, and the x-axis, which is this, and the line x equals 0, which will be the first point here, 0, the x equals what? 2. So if I put 2 here, this area, this is the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis with the limit from 0 to 2. So the area we are looking for will just be the integral of what? y dx ranging from 0 to 2. But don't forget y is also equal to x to the power 3. So this becomes integral from 0 to 2 x to the power 3 dx. So now we are going to integrate by increasing this by 1 dividing by the same power. So area will just be this is going to be 4. So x to the power 4 divided by 4. No constant because this is definite integral. Then limit of integration will be introduced. So from the upper limit, we introduce 2. So area is going to be equal to 2 exponent 4 over 4 minus lower limit 0 exponent 2 over 4. We know this will already give us 0. So this is going to be uh, 2 exponent 4 will be 16. So 16 divided by 4 and that will be 4. So this simply means that the area bounded by a curve or the curve y equals to 3 y equals to x cubed and the x as it with each coordinate 0 and 2 will be what? 4 square units. This is just one of the questions to buttress the point we did in the introduction. How to find the area bounded by a curve and the x axis. Thank you for watching. Like, share and comment. Bye bye.